depending on your level of attention, you may or may not know. It is the top five Trash or Bash update day. Now, you'd be forgiven for maybe not knowing that today, March 21st, is the top five Trash or Bash update. Because of course, updates have slightly slowed, but that is kind of the nature of a build-off contest like this. Originally, you've got 20 builders working like crazy to try and get to that five. And once you're in the five, you need a little more time, effort, patience, and uh, overall, you just get a little bit more leeway in the way of, uh, well, leeway, I guess. But today's the day that the individual upload updates happen, and I'm guessing there's a fair amount to take in. Now, each of the individual builders' videos will be uploaded as a bulk upload all together. You can watch all updates one after the other in any order you like, but I will create a playlist so they're easy to get to. But the, uh, so this video will be my Trash or Bash non-competitor update host. This is the motivator. This is the bike that I was putting together in conjunction with the builders, as you know, to try and keep them motivated to keep going. Problem is, uh, I kind of did what everybody else did and like just tried to get it done maybe too quick and I'm really happy with where it's at. It hasn't really changed. I've ridden it, I really like it. I love the way it looks, but now I'm like, what do I do next? For new viewers who don't know what the Trash or Bash Motivator is, here's a very quick TLDR of the build. Mid 2000s Norco Rideau frame with a Jameis cyclocross carbon fiber fork, BMX stem, surly sunrise bars, mini V-brakes, H plus sun rims laced to a Dior LX in the rear and a Ambrosia hub in the front. Shimano 105 crankset with a wolf tooth oval 40 tooth chainring, eight speed drivetrain using a Sunrace cassette 11 through to 42, shifting with an Advent eight nine speed rear derailleur shifted by a SRAM X4 eight speed shifter. And of course the green tread Panaracer Gravel King smooths, the custom drip paint using Montana gold paint and some uh, two-part clear. And the whole thing put together using Park Tool Tools, who just so happen to be sponsoring the Trasher Bash build-off along with Panaracer offering prizes to the, uh, to the top three finishers. And now, because it hasn't really changed since that day we finished it, I kind of want to, I do want to try and see if I can put Take this rear rack, cut it, modify it, and change it in a way that it'll be like a front rack. Not that I'm really convinced that it will work or that I'll actually ever use it, but I definitely do have quite a bit of history of just doing things out of vanity, and I don't actually think this is any different. I'm not afraid to admit it. I want this to sit level, so this whole section here this, which gets in the way of the rack actually sitting level, it's gotta go. But I wanna try, I wanna try and keep maybe this and this, and then bend this section to actually sort of mimic this area to look a little bit like this on this end. Um, and if it doesn't work, I'll just cut it here, whatever. And then simply I'm gonna drill two holes right here to put like a, an attachment to go through the fork crown here, and uh, it should be done. In my brain, this is a five minute job. I anticipate being out here for three, four hours, really trying to make it work. That, that is off. Now these parts, I wanna bend. If you don't look at that too quickly, it actually looks not bad. Really close to touching the brake. Let's just start bolting things up. Doesn't fit. But I didn't give up. Not my nicest work, but possibly my quickest. So because this rear rack was just too short to actually go into the provision that's on the fork, it's for a fender, but I've seen like Noah Sullivan on his trek, he actually just used that boss like, and it worked. 
On this, it wasn't, like it was not going to work. So I had some leftover sheet metal, like really thin sheet metal from doing the battery box on my motorbike. So I cut those out and I uh, cut them into strips, drilled some holes to create, to create my own hose clamps. I had some, uh, some thick rubber, like a sheet of thick rubber to protect the beautiful paint on this. And then the top is just a beat, like bent stay from the rack itself. Two drilled holes, shortened here, and boom, you've got a front rack. Will I ever use this front rack? I, I don't think so. I don't really know what it's, like why you would have it, but it does look cool. I suppose I could put a skateboard on it, but I have a backpack that I travel with my skateboard, so. Anyway, it is on there. If anyone wants to give me any sort of like insight on like what you're supposed to use a front rack for, other than it looking cool. Anyway, all that to say, Trasher Bash update brought to you by Park Tool and Pan Eraser updates. Individual builder updates are being uploaded today, like in the next couple of hours. So you'll be able to see where everybody's at, get the whole lowdown, hoedown of everything they have done individually in their own explainer update videos. It should be good. We have another month for everybody to get their builds exactly where they want, or if it's exactly, or if it's exactly where they want to take the time to build content that gets you, the viewers who vote on the winners, as pumped as possible on the final product, everything they've done with it, everything they can do with it. It's just like, think of how I build bikes and ride them and I'm trying to get other people to do that. That's what's happening.